Hey everyone, it's your girl Emily Curl with iHeartRadio, and today we're hanging out with everyone's favorite band. Why don't we? Let's welcome in Daniel, Zach, Jonah, Corbin, and Jack. Hi guys. What's up? What's good? How are you? Thank you so much for being here. I'm so good because I am so excited for you guys. Congratulations, your new highly anticipated album, The Good Times and The Bad Ones is out today. First of all, congrats. How does it feel to have this out into the world? Oh my God. Uh, it feels very crazy. Finally. It's our baby, you know? <laughs> it's our baby. We've, yeah. been, we've been sitting on some of this music for uh, like between one and two years. And, yeah. um, and it feels really crazy to have them out right now because we yeah. wrote them, a, a couple of them, during a time where we thought they never would come out. So that's, yeah. that's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's really crazy. Mm-hmm. True. It's cool because this is the first album that you wrote and produced completely on your own, which is amazing. Yeah, and we actually uh, we actually wrote the majority of it in this room we're in right here. Yeah. And recorded and produced a lot of it in here. So right here. Kind wow. of a special place to be. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I like the artwork on the walls, too. It's like very Thank nice. Thank you. Very vibe. Those are actually some of our plaques. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so you guys spent the majority of your quarantine time in here? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yes, ma'am. That we did. the spot. Now, going back to the album for a second, you know, you said before that the hardest part of, you know, creating this was knowing when each song was done. So my question for y'all is, how did you know when the album was complete, when all the songs were done? Um, I think when we made Fallen. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We needed that last one. Yeah. And I think that was the one. I think individually, though, like when we were, when we were writing each one, it's like, you can be so nitpicky, but like at the end of the day, if you listen back to it and it's banging and it's just like, oh my gosh, this banging. this sounds yeah. really good. And, and you feel, for me, it's like, if I could play this for any one of my friends and feel super proud about it, then it's done. Yeah, right. honestly too, yeah. part of it is even just timing where, you know, we kept our fans waiting so long that it was like, all right, we need to put a line in the sand, you know, like we need to stop here. Cause we just wrote a song a couple days ago and we were like, is it too late to put another song on the album? Like, <laughs> I, know. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like, it is a tough thing to, you know, make the call to be like, we're done. Um, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. Yeah. For each of you, if you could pick one song off the album that you each relate to the most, which one would it be? Mm. Ooh, relate um, to the most? Probably yeah. be myself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, be myself. Be really good. good. Um, Ah, I don't know. Lately Quite for me. Gray recently for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is that? <laughs> so sad. Uh, I would say <laughs> slow down is where I'm at lately. Like, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, 2020 is kind of behind us and, you know, everything, everything is coming back to normal. I feel like that song kind of does that all justice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think for me, uh, for you lately. I was going to say you. for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Aww, cool. dude. It's just like. <laughs> I'd probably say I relate to that one as well. Yeah, yeah I would say probably look at me, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean. You <laughs> said for sure. Yeah. I'm glad you guys also touched on Be Myself because I, I want to talk about that one for a second because it, you know, it talks about the struggles with anxiety, which Daniel and, and Jack, I know is so personal for both of you. What ways have you found that help manage that anxiety, especially during this time, you know, as we're nearing the end of 2020, starting out this new year? What does that look like for you? Um, honestly, for me, I feel like my anxiety has gone down when we like got back to work because um, we went from like just so fast paced, like for like three years in a row and then out of nowhere it's just nothing like yeah. so it was like hard i think mentally for me to just like not do anything but now mm. that we're like back to normal working i guess it's like yeah, i mean it's true. not normal by any means you still got to get tested three times a week but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. you know it's it helps we got stuff to do get your mind yeah. off yeah. stuff. yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. yeah. That, that whole break was weird i remember him coming in the room when we first saw each other after a while and he was like just spilling out all his feelings and <laughs> it was crazy yeah. to hear that and i think that's why daniel wrote um be myself about it the whole mm-hmm. situation yeah and now going back to the album too you've talked about how this is different than anything that you've done in the past and that it's a lot scarier to put out more than anything before what do you yeah. think scares you the most about putting this album out specifically to your fans into the world oh man definitely the fact that you know this is like our baby and this is like 
an album we've dreamed of putting out you know because in the past as you know a lot of our fans know um we weren't writing or producing the music um and you know we loved all the music um but there was something about it that never was personal to us and this music is very very personal to us yeah. and you know we're really close to this album so it's weird it's like you're like sending your child out to the world and hoping that the world <laughs> likes likes him likes or her, you know like yeah and it's like you know we we just love this album so much and so it's you know a bit scary to just yeah. put something that you care so much about out and have like the rest of the world's opinion kind of hop on it but i think what settles you know my my anxiety in that is that our fans are gonna love it and i know they're gonna be really just like happy to hear so much of us in the music so yeah. very excited, excited. so can't believe it's out excited. it's insane and now one thing I love too, is I thought it was so cool to see 30 Days With, the documentary that sort of goes through what it looks like. Yeah, and yeah, I have yeah. to say my favorite part though, was knowing the hair care routines because y'all's hair is oh, all my God. fire. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I'm just yeah. surprised. All makes sense. I'm surprised that like we were okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was forget who I was talking. Like, uh, I think I was talking to my brother and um, I think Eben or something last night um, when we were watching the slowdown video, and I was like, "This is the first video that we didn't care about our hair in." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. going from like a boy band to now, like that's a big step, you know. <laughs> as stupid as it sounds, like we used to be so like particular about yeah. every strand. The of first hair step all the to time. leaving the boy band scene is caring less about caring your hair. That's so funny. You know, and in that we see a little <laughs> bit of the preparation and what goes into releasing an album. What else that we might not have gotten to see in that documentary goes into that for you? What what else goes on behind the scenes as you gear, gear, gear up for this new album? Mm. Oh man, a uh, chaos, I would say. We just were dealing with it. Just the, uh, especially now it's so hard to uh, put like a solid plan in place because you don't know if you, you know, can go outside the next day or not with everything. And so... We just were on a call and we were like, you know, you never know when releases are going to happen and when, you know, you got a day full of interviews or not and when a day off is. And it's just a lot of, and I think one of the episodes touched on it more, but um, yeah, definitely just, it's chaotic. There's a lot <laughs> Yeah, we just more, watched it. You know about that. I think sure. some fans have this idea that we're just like chilling every single day, <laughs> not doing very much, but like right literally now. we've done like 13 hour days for the last couple of weeks. It's like yeah. insane. Like, it's good though. It's like it feels like what we should be doing. That's yeah, yeah that's like feels like back in the group again. Yeah. Yeah. Now I want to talk about before we go the Lotus Inn video. Turn yeah, back yeah. time again. Such a huge theme of the video. And for me watching that, I was like, damn, I am so nostalgic to go to a bar and drink with my friends and like yeah. just see where the night takes you. And it's so funny. It's like you know thinking about the idea of turning back time. If you could go back in time, like before the pandemic happened, before you knew everything was going to happen. What would you do differently, knowing what was on the horizon? Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> I would have released the album like six months ago. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. That's a good I, question. I would have probably cherished moments a little bit more than I oh, thought yeah. I had to. Yeah, it, I would definitely. It yeah. really makes you like grateful for you know the sense of community when when everyone's in the same room and like at concerts when you look around and there's people everywhere singing along to your songs like that's like. Yeah. I dream of that right now. I'm so excited for whenever this whole thing is done and we're able yeah. to to feel that feeling again. It is funny because at the end of tour, we were kind of losing our minds and burnt out and we're like over it, you know. So, yeah. I mean, not over, you know, playing the show, but, you know, we talked to Sean Mendez and he said it so perfectly. It was like, you do all the work all day to then go do the show, but the work is a lot. And, you know, we did like 90 plus shows in a row and we were just like so drained. I think it was more than that. What was it a hundred something? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was a stretch, and so we were like, you know, just burnt down, ready to go home, and then COVID hit, and it's like the second you can't have something, you want it more. So we're like, shit. <laughs> when you look ahead and you think about that first show, you know, you haven't played in so long, like walking oh, on stage. Oh, that's gonna what be. What goes through your mind? <laughs> I'm hella nervous. Oh, man. I started bawling my crazy. eyes out the other day. I was watching this old video and I heard like the fans scream and I just started crying because I was like, <laughs> like I just like totally forgot about that feeling. 
Dude. Like, because it, like, hits you so differently yeah, when you you're think on about stage. It? Yeah, mm-hmm. being on stage is the best. I think it's going to be extra <laughs> crazy because by the time shows are, are ready to be played again, um, you know, the world is going to have been deprived of live concerts for such a long time. So I think the energy and the hype is going to be crazy. Um, and our show is going to be oh, so different yeah. than any Mike. of our shows have ever been. Uh, we're gonna How play so? Us. Can you tell we're us? Gonna, crazy. Yeah, we're going to play the whole set live, uh, play the whole album live. Um, I, was, I mean, yeah, our last show, we also played the track. It yeah, was, it was we almost just like karaoke. 20, 22 mm-hmm. out of the 23 songs, I think we had a 23 song set. 22 of them were just performing li- live to track, yep. which wow. was... But just the co- yeah, like the, it's gonna be like a constant moving yeah. show. You and know? there's nothing like live music, and yeah. we've been wanting yeah. to play live music for such a long time, but just haven't had you know the confidence when, within ourselves to actually do it. Nor did we really have were we really putting out the music that called for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But and, you feel like this new album is like oh you yeah. Play yeah. It we wrote it. For oh you. man, we uh, we just uh, performed on Corden for uh, you know the album release and. We were doing slowdown, and I remember uh, right before we played the show, um, we were all like, "We got to close our eyes and imagine, you know, we're playing to an arena right now." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my God, the feeling like creeped back in of just like how so special cool. it was. But what was crazy is like any other song uh, in the past, I felt like there was like a part of me that had to almost like give more energy than I felt in me mm-hmm. in in the yeah. song, and I felt like I had to give off more. And with this music, it's like when we're performing it, it doesn't even, you know, it comes to second nature because the energy of the music just feels so right. Yeah. Especially for, I mean, it's really meant for a live show and you can like feel it when you're performing. It's crazy. You know, really quickly before I let you guys go, last, last few things is you have a lot of fans on TikTok and I recently posted one letting them know that I was interviewing you guys and truly we got close to 1500 comments in like a, a very short amount of time. So yeah. I picked the best ones the, our fans want you to answer. Are you ready? Just be really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Question number one. Will you ever bring back tea time with Why Don't We? Uh, <laughs> that was the most, the most liked comment. Let me think about that. Honest yeah, answer no. uh, would be... I think... Uh, we'll keep that in the back of our minds. Maybe. In the back of our minds, if we ever get good at British accents. <laughs> maybe next time we're back overseas. Question two. Who can hit the highest note and who can hit the lowest note and what note is it? Jack. Jack highest. Then Jack Jonah. Highest, Jonah lowest. Lowest. Well, I can hit the highest note, chest voice. Mm. I think yeah. Corbin could probably hit the highest note, falsetto. falsetto. Okay, that's Maybe. fair. Yeah, that's cool. fair. I feel like Corbin could like low key hit like a whistle tone and he just doesn't <laughs> know it yet. Do you oh, like the no. highest you can do right now? Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, what the? That's not a sign. Wow. I can't get that. That's crazy. Yeah. You... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! He shook the whole room. Oh. I feel that in my chest. Oh. Yeah, that was. Oh. Yeah. Love on. it, love it. Now, last question before I let you guys go is: you know, we're kicking off the new year, 2021, a fresh start. Do you each have New Year's resolutions? Let's say, like, oh, no. stay in contact with. Uh, like let people know I care about them more yeah. when we're back on the road because yeah. I would say one thing I learned from 2020 was like how helpful it can be even if you're in a good place you don't know if someone else isn't so like right. now being in that place it taught me a lot you know being like dang like I was lonely for the first time in a while you know going from fans every day to locked in your bedroom alone mm-hmm. you know it yeah definitely taught me like you know that person could be in that place after all this so why don't we thank you so much for being here i love you guys this is so fun and congratulations on the new album we're so excited thank you thank Thank you you. we love you too you're so sweet super excited it's finally out in the world (laughs) i love your smile by the way Thank oh, you. Yeah. I love yours. I love all of y'all. You have white teeth, like really white teeth. You do have really white teeth. I it's like it's an infectious. Light. I'm gonna be honest. It's my ring light. Okay. No, I do the same. <laughs> I actually use. I actually use a teeth whitener. All right. <laughs> really? Well, thanks, yeah. Emily. <laughs> Thank you guys, and for everyone watching, be sure to listen to the album on iHeartRadio, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank yeah, you so will. much. Bye.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.